Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to enter the human mind. Stand up is survival. For me, that's jazz. That's what I have to do. <laughs> Robin was like nothing I'd ever seen. He stood out in a way that nobody else did. <laughs> I don't tell jokes, I just use characters as a vehicle for me. Esmeralda, why do you only visit me on certain days? <laughs> on stage, he was the master. If you look at a platypus, I think you might think that God might be stunned. The God's up there in heaven going, OK, let's take a beaver. Let's put on a duck's bill, OK? <laughs> he was really comfortable on stage. Off stage, I just felt he was holding himself together. Early in life, did you have a fear of abandonment? Oh, yeah. It's a primal fear for any child, and it dictates a lot of how you deal with life. He was always looking for a connection. It was a need to communicate and be funny. Every person is driven by some deep, 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 deep secret. Robin was doing drugs. There was fear sometimes to run away from it all, sometimes to run into it all. There you are, you've become a reformed alcoholic. You've got a steaming glass of Perrier going, I feel so much better about myself. My father didn't always feel he was succeeding, but he was the most successful person I know. He made all the people laugh and laugh and laugh. He called me, leaving messages on my phone. It's, it's Robin, I'm giving you love, bye. It's a tie with three people! Yeah. Pretty much said F you, Robin. Come on now. You're only given a little spark of madness. And if you lose that, you're nothing. <laughs>